this is a tarot spread for artists. I feel like it's just going to be a short one for somebody. Not all of it has to relate. Um, some of it can resonate, some of it may not, uh, all of it may not, maybe it's like it's in a spring of memory, I don't know. It's going to be short and sweet though, so we'll see. Alright, we have the Page of Swords in reverse, and that is no talent. We have the High Priestess with wisdom and a good judge of character. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. With no illusion psychic bonds we have the nine of wands with deference and overcoming obstacles we have the ten of cups with um, no inner peace we have the queen of pentacles with shrewdness and family we have a temperance in reverse with no patience so let's see what's going on um, what do you put into your art? We have plants, we have clear air, we have wheel of fate. That could be for somebody. Somebody could do all of them. So that would be like green colors or like white. Some gold maybe, but you know. Okay, um, what your art says about how you see the world. Run, we have a thousand dollars. We will talk again. Okay, what inspires your best work? We have moves in silence. We have $100. We have karmic debts. What your art inspires in others. We have communication. We have sweetheart, darling, love. You've got this. And we have the message from the muse. We have an illusion. We have pure passion. And we have $1,000. Okay, so uh, Temperance doesn't have anything. This one has nothing. This one has nothing. So this is green and gold. This is orange and yellow. This has nothing. And the High Priestess is a green. So it's a lot of green, golds, and oranges, and some reds maybe. So could be an interesting drawing with just those. It could also be a sunset or something that has those colors incorporated in the works. So, you know, all those um, colors have something to do with the way that you've been feeling. So, Yellow is positive energy and good fortune. Orange is professional success. And green is a better luck is coming your way. And let's see. So good. Uh, and you're, you're going to be alright. All so... My little color board. I have a few color boards in here. But anyway, so you could be going through like a crisis with your success. You might be feeling a little bit down about not being able to do your art every day or not coming up with new ideas or, you know, what, whatever have you. But like my art teacher always said, stick with the basics. And practice the basics over and over again. A lot of times there is beauty in the basics and then it gives you other ideas of how to make the basic extraordinary or extraordinary or make something that's going to be more accessible to people that would normally not be able to do artwork or something. You always find invention in stuff you do every day or you feel you need to do and it works in mysterious ways so it's basically what her lesson was she always was like you had to paint it over again you're painting the same circle on like 80 pages and then finally you see the fact that your circle looks almost like a boxy square 
like a stereo, so you change the circle. It becomes a stereo, it becomes magical almost. It's a magic stereo in the middle of trees, the forest, the woods. It attracts fairies, mushrooms, and other animals. You know, it, it's one of those type things. You know, you never know until you know, you know. So, it's, it's one of those things. You're going to see magic in your own artwork after not feeling it for a long time. Alright, so that, that's my message for you. Anyway, hopefully this helped you out in some way, shape, or form, and it keeps your intelligent juices flowing as far as invention and innovation and arts concerned. But you always have to look at your artwork through a discerning eye and, oh, what about this one? What about this one? You can paint your artwork in different settings. You can paint yourself into a corner. You can paint yourself into a horror flick. You can even paint with a different source of media. With singing and visual arts and stuff like that, you always have to look at how you're perceived when you're delivering a message, either through sight, sound, or audio. With other forms of music and art and self-performance, you do have to project a feeling um, a lot of times without speaking. So there's more of a tapestry of emotion through dance and other things. So it's that type of thing. It depends of how you feel, you know. And in order to see that, you have to practice, practice, practice. Even if it's paint, even if it's like crayon, even if it's chalk on a chalkboard. If you do it for long enough, you'll be able to see beauty in your own artwork see the life that it's taking on in your perception you know anyway i'll see you in the next one all right bye